tonight, no show from recipient sees food vouchers go to waste. FSC has only $5 million left from India loan and hitting the streets for a good cause. First tonight, it's been more than a week since the story of the SDL party's controversial submissions to the Constitutional Commission winter air. And while the public have very strong opinions about such seemingly obsolete ideas for a new Fiji, surprisingly, the usual pontificators don't want to talk about it. Roland Karoy has been following the story. Eight days after the most controversial submission to date by the former ruling party, and still no word from anyone. One would have expected at least some sort of a reaction from the leader of the party that has taken a huge political punt by partnering with the SDL. But Mahendra Chowdhury of the Fiji Labour Party is uncommonly lost for words. FBC News first contacted Chowdhury about this issue last Friday. He said he wouldn't comment. No reasons were given. Instead, he turned the issue into one about the Constitution Commission, saying he didn't have any more faith in it, again not elaborating on his reasons for saying so. He promised to talk to us the following day. Numerous calls were made. There was no answer. We called again on Sunday. Again, no answer. Yesterday, FBC News asked him off camera if he was ready for that interview that he had promised. Again, no answer and no explanation. It seemed ironic that the leader of the FLP doesn't want to comment on these submissions, which more or less goes against what his party supposedly stands for. But we will continue calling him with the hope that he will answer and tell us what he thinks about the submissions made by his political partners. FBC News also contacted other parties for a comment, but no one was willing. Roland Karoy again with the story. While most people we spoke to chose to remain mum on this issue, the Prime Minister did have a few things to say about Chowdhury and the leader of the SDL's other political partner, Mick Beddows. Beddows sees uh, Ngarese as uh, a, a demigod. Uh, he, he thinks the world of Ngarese, so that's not going to change uh, Beddows and his politics. Uh, Chowdhury is as uh, much a racist as, uh, as Ngarese. He keeps when using the race card every time he, he falls on the wayside. So they are three of a kind, uh, really, they're birds of a feather. But uh, what we're trying to tell these three political parties and their leaders is this is the one chance in the million for us to come up with a great constitution, a good constitution. SDL party president Solomon Inevalu confirmed to the Fiji Sun newspaper that they did make submissions which called for Fiji to be a Christian state, for the word Fijian to be reserved only for the Ito K, that communal seats be retained, etc. One particular submission which was expected to be attacked by human rights activists, who are usually quick to react about such issues, is the SDL party's call for the rights of gay and lesbians not to be constitutionally protected. But again, surprisingly, they seem to have joined the silent movement, which, as it stands, has FLP leader Mahendra Chowdhury, UPP leader Mick Beddows, and now, it's quite safe to say, human rights activists. The Fiji Women's Crisis Center's Shamima Ali refused to comment, only saying they respect the process and wouldn't want to preempt anything by speaking on the submissions by the SDL. She, however, went on to say that the FWCC will be making a statement calling on the public to be mindful of the rights of gays and lesbians when making their submissions, at the same time making it quite clear that the statement had no reference to the SDL submission. Meanwhile, representatives from the gay and lesbian community just said no comment. Prime Minister Vorenge Bainimarama also lashed out at Australia and New Zealand, questioning their support for the SDL party in recent years, a party he says thrives on racial and undemocratic policies. Questions were forwarded to the New Zealand and Australian High Commissions yesterday. The response, none, at least not so far. The Prime Minister is certainly not letting this one fade into oblivion. I'm just very disappointed with this group of people. Uh, they have not learned of the events of 2000, no, 87, no, 2006. They have not learned uh, from the lessons of uh, their leader being sent to in the last uh, fortnight. They have not learned from that. 
And I say, if they can't have anything to give to Fiji, they should wind up and go home. And while all this is happening, the one man that said he made the submissions seems to have vanished from the face of this earth. SDL President Solomon Inaivalu is nowhere to be found, and even calls to other SDL big guns are not being answered. It seems the SDL submission is becoming an issue too hard to handle for almost everyone who would usually have had a lot to say about such controversial issues. Nevertheless, FBC News will continue to make attempts to get comments from Chaudhry and others. After all, it's very unlikely of him not to say anything seven days and counting after submissions that have caused such a storm in Fiji and which may very well lead to an end in the political partnership between SDL and the Fiji Labour Party. Roland Karoy, FBC News. The Constitutional Commission has refused to comment on the submissions made by the SDL party. There's been widespread criticism of the submissions. Today we asked the Commission whether it will impact the constitution-making process. Fusita Kotoi Wasawasa has more. Professor Yashgai has refused to entertain any debate or public discussion on the SDL submissions. It's understandable since the Commission is mandated to collect and vet all submissions from every Fijian. We uh, would like people to express their wishes and their views. Um, we want it to be an open and transparent process. Guy says to comment on the SDL submission would politicize the whole constitution-making process. All he's willing to say is the commission wants an open and transparent process in which every individual or groups make their views known. He did make one general statement, though, about the issue of same-sex marriages. I was a bit surprised to hear that because I wasn't aware that this was an issue in Fiji. Uh, obviously, some people feel... Uh, strongly about this. Uh, my own personal view, which I've expressed when I have received these recommendations, is to ask them why they think a category of people who are citizens of Fiji should not have um, complete rights uh, to associate with whom they like. There's only two months to go for the submissions to end. So make your stand and let your views be known. This chance may never come around again. Você tocou tão fbc news